Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Prey. When we last left off, we were uh, about to leave the hardware labs here and go back to our office to check out the uh, the video. Uh, one quick note though, I, um, I did some looting as I mentioned I was going to do and I actually found a couple neuro mods in a briefcase, which actually I think that I didn't pick up. So let me go do that real quick. I found them up in... Thornstein's office, which is just right over here anyway. And uh, there's some kind of, I think, ammo in there as well. It's right here. A couple of neuromods. Oh, no, it's a, actually a bunch of exotic material. That's it's pretty good. Um, still don't have the key code for the safe that's in there. But, uh, yeah, so we've got a couple extra neuromods. And I did actually, as well, decide to grab this uh, materials expert perk because... This is the kind of thing where you kind of, I feel like you need to be decisive and get it early or not get it at all. And, you know, there's a non-zero chance that we may want to get these uh, these perks as well, depending on what we find for goofy-ass weaponry in the future. Uh, so I decided, you know, it's kind of now or never. I am tempted to get our first suit modification, which will give us some more inventory space, but I'm going to wait on that for now because we are going back to our office, and even though we're pretty full up, we should be able to dump a few things off which will uh, help us out aside from that I also went into the irradiated area and grabbed some stuff it was just like an EMP charge and a glue cannon and uh, getting irradiated eventually will drain your health apparently and it kind of makes you walk a little funny if you're too irradiated but I just went up to the medical bot uh, that we created and um, it took care of it and then also there's a, a engineering bot uh, uh, operator dispenser in the the uh, pl place where we were doing our um, recycling and crafting in the hardware labs. So uh, I got my suit repaired as well. Now at this point, I think uh, I think we just oh, I was gonna say we think we just cruise right over this way, but apparently it's not going to be so easy. I did also use all of our weapon. Upgrade kits to, uh... Oh, shit. This guy's a little stronger than your average bear, huh? Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, uh... I want... This. That didn't work. Crafted some more ammo, so, you know, there's... There's that as well. There's also a mimic in here, Jesus, dude. There's too many, too many guys in here. Get out of here. Okay, all right. This is just, it's just a, a glowing mimic. It's, it's not, it's not glued. Why isn't it glued? Where did you go? Is that you? That is you. I, uh, I crafted a bunch of ammo as well, so, uh, because we have, yeah, just have, like, a big surplus of shit, more or less. Oh, okay, that was a little, that was a little scary. These enemies are getting tougher, yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, I was, I used our weapon upgrade kits, uh, that we had to upgrade our pistol with better accuracy and the glue cannon with better handling and reload speed. Well, it seemed like the grenade did something, because there's material all over the place here. I don't know what I blew up exactly, but, uh, you know, that's cool. Um, we're just going to eat these so we can grab this biohazard waste and move on. One thing also, I, I think if you're well fed, as we just were, uh, your stam regens a little bit faster. Um, that's purely anecdotal. Oh, they... Blew up my fucking turret. You bitches. How dare you? Hang on, maybe it's alright. No, it's still it's still kicking. It's still kicking. Auto oh Jesus! Jesus Christ! I was gonna say, I don't I don't remember leaving that there. Oh, okay. Everything's great. <laughs> We can't carry these. That's all right. We have a recycler in our office. We'll uh, we'll sort that out. 
fucking getting scared by my own shadow here. All right. Does anything look out of place to you? I can't tell. I don't remember how I left Good it. Good afternoon, Talos. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2. Okay, we have, we have this operator dispenser here too, but it's not operational for some reason. It's not powered up. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know why this thing doesn't work. Hmm. Um. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get that working, but anyway, let's uh, recycle whatever we got here, real quick, and let's pop back out here, and let's grab uh, those, and then we can uh, we can craft ourselves some med kits. I think real quick wouldn't be the worst idea in the entire world. Every time I use this, I feel like I'm a fucking animal waiting for food. <laughs> Um, all right, let's, uh, here we go. Let's see. Med kits. Med kits are not too bad. Let's make a couple of these for the, uh, the road here. And one more. Okay. And then I think, uh, we have some food that we can eat, so I'm just gonna eat those. And probably eat this guy, and probably eat that guy. Yeah, that's good enough. Should heal us up pretty well here. Um, all right, well, I guess at this point, what do you think? We just go for the uh, let's go for the video, and then we'll store some stuff and move on. I guess depending on uh, what we need to do next. All right, resume. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos-1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Oh shit, man. Fuck. That's that's a quite the turn. <laughs> it's a little early in the game to be do, doing a suicide pact. Oh hey. Oh that's January. What's up, man? Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. Over here. Over here what? Yeah, what do you want, man? I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Alrighty, so if you're an operator, can you operate your ass over here and like heal me? Oh shit, yeah, I should take that. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. This guy's just shitting out fucking loot, man. <laughs> you instructed me to sabotage the test procedures if Alex ever failed to release you. Or if the Typhon organisms escaped containment. Both happened. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. 
all made possible by our friends from outer space. Hmm. The security station in the lobby might have weapons. Uh, yeah, it might. Uh, because, you know, that's where I would probably keep them. <laughs> this is, you know, the place with the security people. All right, so we got three Neuromods. It's not quite enough, though, I don't think, to do what I want. Because if I'm going to get... If I'm not going to get the suit upgrade, I want to keep down this uh, repair path, I think. Especially because our turrets are starting to get in bad shape and they still appear to be pretty useful. Um, so yeah, we'll have to keep a lookout for an extra turret at some point here. Or, sorry, an extra Neuromod. Oh yeah, he died. He was down... He's down... Near the, near the shuttle bay. Uh, doors. I realized when I was editing footage a while back. Alright, so that's teleconferencing. Um, at this point, actually what I really want to do is go back to the area that we first started and see if there's... Nah, I didn't think so. Uh, see if there's any... Um... Crap, I forgot to store stuff. I'm going to have to go do that. Uh, but yeah, I want to go down there and just see if there's anything there that we can get. Because I seem to remember there being a few things that we couldn't access, so I just want to double check, and we'll see if there are any corpses left there that we can loot as well. Just to kind of like clear that area out as best we can. Um, so let me make a cut here, and I'll see you momentarily. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally the tests are only a few days long. Okay, we're back. I uh, was about to leave this area, but uh, there seems to be a small problem, and that small problem is actually a big problem, and that big problem is in fact, and by the way, I think this is, there's Jason, there's, that was our secretary, I think, that's sad. Um, the big problem is there's an enemy between us and where I want to go, and he's one of those tough bastards, so let's uh, see what we can do to sort him out. Gonna... Oh, he found me. Deploy that. <laughs> um, there's two of them. Why are there two of them? <laughs> so they split. Okay, that's fun. Um, well, so you see what I mean. These guys are getting tougher. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to. I'm not sure if we're, well, I'm not sure if we're going to be forced to spec into like some more security just to survive here, rather than getting engineering like I want to. But we're going to need this turret's help one way or another, I think. Dude, Jesus, dude! Where's he coming from? Well, that did not work. There's one. The other one's stuck. We should use this to our advantage. Uh, well, I thought we were going to use it to our advantage. Turns out we, uh, definitely not going to use it to our advantage. I made some more bullets, too, but all well, the good is doing us. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, this status that we have? Oh, our suit's damage. Okay, well we can we can sort that out later probably. Or actually, we can even sort it out right now. We have a few of these kits. Man, these guys are fucking assholes, dude. All right, let's grab this turret for whatever it's worth and. Set it back up, I guess. Deploying. These enemies are getting nasty, dude. I haven't been able to get in here. Oh, we can get in here. Oh, cool. <laughs> I guess that new key card we got is uh gonna let us get in here. That's pretty good. Alright, let's just take it easy. Note. 
Um, LAAC left your character sheet on the printer. <laughs> Don't forget, we moved to the game to the rec center in crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor, take a happy pill before showing up. Eh, that's funny. Playing a little space D&D. &D. Aren't going to be getting in there anytime soon, by the looks of it. All right. Oh, this is uh, this is his email. Turns out Yuri Kimura is just like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, what is this? Door override. Release. Secure. Secure. I see. Release? Huh. So we can, like, hide in here if we want to? For all the good it'll do us? Psychotronics staff only. Oh my god, we can get in there too. Alright, we'll we'll go to Psychotronics later if we have time. For now, let's just uh, finish this part up. In fact, I'm just gonna drink a couple... Wait a minute. What did I just drink? Oh shit, I drank beer. <laughs> my mistake. We probably don't need both of these. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're a little hammered right now. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Ooh, here we go. A little water. No! No, I knew something wasn't right there! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Pretty sure trash cans can't float in midair. Something... Something is very clearly up here, but I, uh, couldn't quite put my finger on it, you know what I mean? Good afternoon, Talos. <laughs> Safety aboard Talos oh, 1 boy. is everyone's responsibility. Send all help requests or concerns to security at transdog.talos. All right, Neuromod Division. One would think that perhaps there would be many Neuromods here that we could get. We have a few Neuromods that we can use to our advantage to try and get at some of this stuff. Alright, hopefully there aren't a whole bunch of enemies in here. In fact, we're probably going to want to just do that now for our own sanity. And we can loot up all these tumors and stuff. Yeah, so these uh, corpses do in fact stay here. Let's go to the recording room. How do we get in here, I wonder? See security for entrance. Security in this area? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to take all this stuff and uh, we'll kind of figure it out. A dirt skiff. Spirit parts. I guess it's like a Roomba kind of deal. Let's get the glue cannon now. We're pretty low on pistol ammo at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, there's security right there, actually. I was kind of expecting there to be more mimic corpses around here, though. I think we've pretty well looted this this room. Um, there we go, there's some more. Oh shit, okay. He sees me, but he's kind of stuck in there, is he not? Yeah, I think he is. We don't have the code to even get in there. Can we? Nah, we can't even get in. I think he's sort of lost the scent. Oh, grab lifts. If we had a little bit more repair, we could uh, we could fix this bad boy up and uh, see what's up there. We just find one more neuromod, we can make it happen. Oh, okay, that's fine. Just a regular mimic. Got a. Kill him quick, though. No sweat. I don't know what these guys are doing with shotgun shells, but I will take them. Can you read this? Mm, possibly. Even though I'm not actually reading the books, I do like to try to click on them all, just because habit and all that. So I'm guessing, yeah, it seems like there are definitely respawns in this game. 
something we have to be cautious about. I think we've already read that. But it seems like it needs to be... Repaired? Somehow? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with, uh, with this thing. Guessing we've read all the emails. Yeah, in uh, the computers that we can actually access. There's definitely something here. Wait a minute, what? I thought these shoes were mim <laughs> mimics. <laughs> All right, where's where's the actual mimic at? Where's he at? Oh, I see. So there's a phantom over there. Okay, well, that happened. Could have gone a little better, I think. Shit, dude, there's another one down there, a big one, too. And a corrupted engineer. I don't know, man. Do not know about that. Wasn't really expecting quite this much resistance just coming back here to, like, try to loot a couple things. I don't know why these are not stacking, but it's all right. We'll just fix that now real quick. Yeah, for some reason, I think we don't necessarily need to come back this far. Some places that I was thinking about were like, there's like a bathroom or something we couldn't get into, and then there was a, um, what do you call it there, a, yeah, uh, something else. There's a, I think there's a computer that we could possibly have hacked. That might be down here somewhere. I am content to leave that be for now. That's right, there was a uh, phantom in there, too. And there's a mimic in there, for sure. 
There he is. <laughs> but we can't get to him right now because we still don't have the security code for that. But what if we, um... What if we can find this bathroom that I was thinking about? Yes, nice there's some more neuromods over here. Yeah, right here. This is the spot. If we get leverage one, we could do it, but then we would need two neuromods. Which is less desirable, unless we can find a way to uh, to get rid of those boxes without a neuromod. We could try try one of these. Um, one of these recycler chargers might do it. I don't know. Let's just let's just try. Totally worked. <laughs> How about that? Nope, that's a mimic. Huh. Yeah, it's a little easier to spot when they're floating in midair, I find. <laughs> Doesn't mean there aren't more in here, though. Night kit is nice. This food is also okay. I was kind of hoping I might find a security code in here, though. Apparently it was not meant to be. I'm pretty sure we went into the ladies' room before. Yeah, all the doors are open. Alright, let's take another look at this grab lift over here. Like, I know we can't... Repair? Oh, there's somebody up here. Not bad, I'll take it. Guessing there's no way into the SO from here, yeah. Not, uh, not happening. But, uh, yeah, I'll take the thicker stuff. Eat this banana. It'll help out a little bit. Wait, can we fix this? Oh, we totally can. I thought we needed repair, too. My mistake. Well, <laughs> people can stop shouting at their screens now in frustration, hopefully. <laughs> Guessing we probably didn't even need to repair that. We probably could have just glue cannoned our way up here. But uh, that's okay. No problem. We have a ton of spare parts, and we actually had so many that were starting to take up two inventory slots, so I really am not disappointed about um, using a few parts here to repair something. Somebody just made me. Oh, okay, I see. I see him. Seems to be a regular phantom. Shit, something behind me? Oh, there's a little guy here. Sorry, we'll deal with him after we deal with this guy. Alright. Where's the little guy at? Oh, the shit, there's two of them. Let's create a little distance here. Shit. There's a, uh, there's a thing over there. Disruptor batteries. And the disruptor stun gun. Huh. All right. We could have come up here probably way earlier. <laughs> Gotten some stuff. 
Uh, the disruptor stun gun will knock out human targets. Uh, Typhon are more resistant, but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled, ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. That's pretty cool. I would love to get in there. wonder if we can... Let's try something. Get this guy out of here a little bit. I wonder if maybe, like, we could use the glue cannon to push this shit away a little bit. Like, move this box at least. Oh, here we go. How about that? Oh, no, it's already open. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, maybe we'll get in there later. Can't get in there. And I think we've... Pretty much done everything on this side? Actually, you know, maybe... Can we squeeze in here? Ah, oh, so close, dude. So close. All right, well, I think uh, we will call it an episode here. I'm going to maybe take a look around, see if I can find a way to open the uh, security office, maybe get into here. Well, I know I know we can get in here. I just want to see if I can do it without using another one of our recyclers because who knows how many we're going to be able to get um, in the future without being able to craft them ourselves. So, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to try and figure it out. Also, get a... Figure this out. Oh, I see. If we had some hacking, we can get into these other rooms. Very interesting. Okay, well, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.